Well, a beautiful March day, but some cooler air is on the way. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is here, and Kate, we're on a bit of a ride with these temperatures, right? Lots of ups and downs, Yuki. In mm -hmm. fact, the past, even the past six days or so, has been up and down every day by about 10 degrees. Big fluctuations this week. Today was another warm one. Yesterday was mild, today mild, but now we're going back downhill as a cold front sweeps through tonight. It's 45 degrees right now. It is clear for now in the city, but that's going to change overnight. Winds are out of the west southwest, about three miles per hour. So we're tracking a dose of light rain overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. The steadiest is to the north. There may even be some snow in the Poconos, but most of this is out of here by daybreak tomorrow. It is followed, though, by a brief cold blast. Tomorrow afternoon will be noticeably cooler than today, and then Friday, the coldest day of the week. Morning lows near 20, with highs only around 40 in the afternoon, which is about 10 degrees below average. Then we're warm again, but showers return Sunday and Monday. So, talking about this temperature drop, today's high was 58 degrees. Our normal high is about 48 or 49, depending on your location. So, around 10 degrees above average today. Friday morning, Morning. The morning low 20. You'll need that heavy winter coat. That's about 10 degrees below average. So, Storm Scan 3 shows a few showers starting to creep into the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley right now along this next system. It's a clipper, uh, fast moving, generally moisture starved storm, but you can see it is producing some snow across portions of New York State. For F Pennsylvania, really, it's mostly rain. There could be some snow in the Poconos overnight. By 2.30 a.m., you see that rain over the Lehigh Valley. By about 4 a.m., we've got at least scattered showers around the city and maybe some snow in the highest elevations. And then by 6 o'clock or so, this is pushing off the coast. Skies will clear quickly, and then it turns out to be a much nicer-looking afternoon than the morning will be. But it's definitely going to feel a little colder with a gusty breeze from the north and west as well. Tonight's low, then 40 degrees, mostly cloudy with those areas of rain developing. 47 tomorrow, a light morning shower, then turning out mostly sunny and breezy. Winds are northwesterly, though, 15 miles per hour, so a blustery day. But it does look dry. After that morning shower chance, we're looking at very little chance of rain Friday and Saturday. Unfortunately, as the temperature starts to go up Sunday and Monday, the precipitation chances go up as well. We're going to be tracking a system approaching Sunday with the chance for scattered showers here and there throughout the day, but temperatures are in the upper 60s. On Monday, our next system approaches. It's a stronger storm. We get a warm front that lifts north. We warm up very quickly behind that warm front into the 70s, but then it comes through Monday night into Tuesday with the chance for rain and possibly even a thunderstorm. So lots of ups and downs here. It's a roller coaster ride. Back to the 40s tomorrow, a very cold Friday, but then quickly milder Saturday with increasing clouds. Showers likely Sunday and a shower or thunderstorm chance Monday, especially Monday night into Tuesday. And then you can see it does turn cooler, but still not bad. We're still looking at 50s Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Yuki, back over to you. All right, time to buckle up, but not too bad. Thank you, Kate.